Scott Farnham is with a company called Nano TerraTech. Yes. Now, Terra, that sounds very earth oriented, right? Nano, that sounds very futuristic. Yep. What are you guys all about? Well, we've uh, developed a way to make uh, a graphite from biomass here. So we start with a, a waste wood product uh, left over from the sawmilling uh, industry. So this is sawdust and other wood chips uh, it's and wood, stuff? It's bark. It's actually the stuff that they want the least. Uh, so we took the least valuable uh, product for them and it turned it into a very valuable product, uh, biographite. So this would be uh, replacing natural graphite or synthetic graphite in EV batteries and many other applications like refractory or friction materials as well. So it's a, it's a revolutionary product really. It's you know, sustainable, um, you know, comes from, it's a waste product, it grows again. I, I love business models yeah. that use essentially garbage as their raw material. Yeah, exactly. So you've got to have a pretty good carbon footprint story. Yeah, we do. So our, 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 uh, our reason for being is to set up a net zero uh, industry. So uh, where we're from, we have uh, renewable energy uh, to make the, uh, the graphite. Like all, all hydropower? It's all hydropower. What isn't hydropower, the next 2% would be solar. Um, so we want to offer the, a net zero uh, uh, product here, our factory. Everything we do will be uh, sustainable energy or renewable uh, energy. So uh, we want to be able to offer carbon credits to go along with this. So it's got a lot of bon uh, benefits here oh, on no the kidding. sustainability front. How scalable is it? I mean, how, how much of this waste wood product is available? There's a tremendous amount of this wood product available. There's, uh, I think it's 50% uh, waste from the sawmill. So after done cutting two board fours and such, 50% of that is sawdust and wood waste. And what, so they, they dump it in a landfill or what do they do? Uh, with they that? use it for, for fuel, so they burn it, oh. um, or use for landscaping and such, which is very low uh, 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 valorization. So we want to add value to that and have a, a critical mineral in this uh, graphite. Okay, so you said there's a whole lot of this uh, wood yes. waste. How, how much graphite can you make out of it? Uh, it's about, uh, we started about a four to one ratio. So if we have a, a 200,000 tons of this of wood waste, we get about 50,000 tons of graphite out of that. And, and put that 50,000 tons, I mean, that sounds like a big number. Is that enough for the auto industry or It's or actually what? a very uh, small drop in the bucket for the auto industry. So, so there's tons and tons, there's millions of tons of graphite sold every year. Okay, so, but you could take this technology of yours to any place that's got the wood waste. Yeah, absolutely. We could scale it uh, southeast uh, United States. There's a lot of battery plants. Uh, Michigan area, there's a lot of trees and battery plants. So that's kind of our goal is to expand this, prove it out with industry partners, and then expand to where that uh, feedstock is and the offtake from the batteries are. So we're at the battery show. Are the car companies coming and looking at this stuff? Oh, it's been great. You know, we've had all the majors come in and express some interest and go like, wow, we didn't know this existed. <laughs> <And> so, <laughs> great. So, so yeah. what, you're going to give them samples so that they can see it's the right purity for batteries? Yeah, so there's a, a process you go through. They, get uh, a couple kilos at first to test it out. Uh, they go for maybe a couple hundred kilos after that to make a larger run. And then it's like, if we can prove the performance and a, a drop-in solution, then it's, it's commercial discussions on how can we get into your, your supply chain. Okay, automotive is all about cost. How do you yeah. stand up against you know, mining graphite or synthetic graphite? Well, I think the, our advantage is we don't need to dig a big hole in the ground and get the environmental permits, which may cost hundreds of millions and 10 years to do. So our, our, our mine uh, material is above ground. So it regenerates every year. So I can say there's more uh, wood waste than we could ever make graphite uh, out of. And you said you can sell uh, credits too, carbon yeah. credits. Yeah, so we're investigating uh, this. We, we will need to develop that protocol, as it's called, but yeah, we're absolutely certain we can uh, offer carbon credits and wrap that into the sale of the, of the price so the car manufacturers or battery manufacturers would get the benefit of that. And you're based in Canada, right? Where in yes. Canada? Uh, we're in Vancouver Island. So it's in the heart of the forestry industry. We've got the biggest trees and the most wood waste that uh, anybody could ever ask for. And uh, But you still qualify for IRA stuff, right? For yes. U.S. subsidies. We're a Canadian company, uh, Canadian owned. Uh, so we have that free trade agreement with the United States. So yes, the IRAs Act is 
is one of the important reasons we want to show up at this, at this uh, convention. Great story. You know, you never know what you're going to find at the battery show. Uh, Scott, thanks so much, thank man. Thank you, John. Great story. It. Good deal. Thanks. As experts in direct current switching and control, Shelfbau is at the front leading the charge in developing and manufacturing the necessary electromechanical components for the future. Each system and application will require conditions in which a stable connection, secure contact, and safe control of power are vitally important. These challenging conditions are what make Shelfbau qualified for this future.